Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the T-52 SAR. The T-52 SAR is a directed energy weapon used by the Covenant and made by Assembly Forges. The T-52 SAR is primarily used by shock troops and used to lay down suppressive fire. The T-52 SAR is a sniper rifle style weapon based on reverse engineered full runner technology. This weapon is designed for range suppression rather than anti-personnel roles. The smooth and organic appearance of the weapon is reflective of typical Covenant aesthetics and tendencies. As such, its ergonomic grip is designed for elite use. Although powerful and intimidating, the combat effectiveness is crippled by several glaring flaws in the weapon's design. The beam fired by the weapon is extraordinarily visible. Firing the weapon immediately reveals the user's position. Although highly effective at depleting shields, the weapon is only marginally effective against armored vehicles, causing negligible damage to vehicles and requiring continuous fire to ensure lethality against organic targets. If the weapon overheats, it will automatically vent access plasma and render the weapon inoperable for several seconds. The T-52 SAR copies some elements of the Sentinel beam employed by aggressor Sentinels. Though the magnetic accelerators and particle guide beam emitters are novel creations of Covenant origin. These features present a counterpoint to the idea that the Covenant never innovated when it comes to technological development. The plasma is formed in a cylindrical module and directed through a channel of electromagnetic coils forming a precise beam. Like most Covenant infantry weapons, the weapon draws its power from a battery. The weapon requires a lot of power and the exact mechanism by which it functions was under investigation by the UNSC in August 2552. The weapon's name and visual appearance suggest a shared operating mechanism with the larger scarab mounted focus cannon. Trademarks include a Covenant marking below the grip, red Covenant markings near the cheek rest, another marking near the front of the scope, as well as more going throughout the whole barrel. Features of this gun include a cheek rest, a stock which is kind of split in half a little bit, as well as the outer ring in the middle pops out when the gun overheats, and the top and bottom portions of the barrel extend vertically when firing, and they stay extended when the gun overheats. Lost the lead. Tied the lead. This weapon is also equipped with a 3.5 to 9.5 times magnification scope. The smart link feed shows the weapon's remaining power and accumulated heat level as well. The T-52 SAR holds a 100% battery capacity, and the amount of energy the weapon takes to fire a full beam is 12%. That's about 8.5 beams that can be fired out of this gun. The fire rate I got was around 330 rounds per minute. The cooldown speed I got was 3.24 seconds. Max hip fire range is 15.5 meters. The max effective range using the 3.5 times zoom on the scope is 53.52 meters. And the max effective range using the 9.5 times zoom is 144.94 meters. Moving on to damage output, it takes 4% to break shields and 2% to health, totaling 6% to kill. And the TTK of this gun is 1.09 seconds. First strike. And that's that weapon. Overall, I really like the focus rifle. As I'm going through and analyzing this gun, I feel like this gun is severely underrated. It may not be as lethal as the UNSC sniper rifle, but unlike the UNSC sniper rifle, the focus rifle is easier to use up close when you need to hip fire. As you heard in the lore bit, it's meant to be more of a suppressive type of weapon. That said, at least in my experience, I am able to get some killing sprees because of this gun. 
This gun, unlike the sniper, sacrifices lethality and trades it for ease of use. His weapon kills faster than the, the assault rifle and even potentially the DMR if both your aim and strafe is on point. Even if you don't kill your target, this is a covenant weapon after all. You'll at least severely deplete shields at long distances, which really could help your team push the enemy shit in. And that's all I gotta say. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel. And let me know your thoughts on the Halo Reach Focus Rifle in the comments below. And until next time, peace. Moving on to damage output, it takes 4% to break shields and 2% to health, totaling a 6% shill. 6% shill. Yeah, I'm getting cancelled for that. <laughs>